welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training for your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports Learn Fast training module is using the pre-calculated gear position function in Race Studio 3. Your AIM Sports MXL2, MXG, and MXS dash display is capable of accurately calculating, displaying, and storing your transmission gear position when you have it configured with some basic information. This information includes vehicle speed, engine RPM, tire circumference, along with the final and individual gear ratios. Having the ability to calculate a gear position can be helpful if your vehicle does not have this information available from an onboard system, or if you have not installed, or it is very difficult to install, a dedicated gear position sensor. To set up this function in Race Studio 3, open your device's configuration, and then click on the Math Channels tab and this will show the available math channels. To select the pre-calculated gear math channel, click on the channel name or description and then click on the OK button. This opens the mathematical channel settings window. This default math channel name will already be set and you can rename it if you want, but I am going to leave it at the default. The next setting is the sampling frequency. Think of this as how fast your display will calculate the gear position. You have several options from 1 to 50 Hz. 10 Hz, or 10 times per second, is generally OK, but a good rule of thumb is to set this frequency at the same rate as your engine RPM and vehicle speed is sampled. And in this case, that is 10 Hz. Next, we need to define the engine RPM and the vehicle speed channels. You notice that in this case, the RPM channel is grayed out. This is because there is only one RPM channel available, so we are not presented with a choice. However, with the speed channel, we could change it as we have both a GPS speed channel and this speed 1 channel. You will see the best results if you select a speed channel that is one of the driven wheel speeds, and in this case, the speed 1 channel is the speed of one of the rear tires, so we will not change this selection. Next is an input box where we need to measure and then input the tire circumference of the tire that is represented by the speed channel you have selected. In this case, the rear tire circumference is 77.9 inches. The next input box is for the axle ratio. This is the final drive or ring and pinion value. We can enter this, as well as other gear ratio values, in two different ways. We can input the actual numeric floating point value, such as 2.866, or we can enter the value as a fraction, such as 43 over 15, representing the number of teeth on the ring gear over the number of teeth on the pinion shaft. That is what we are going to do here, 43 over 15. The shift time setting is the time that the calculated values must be stable, such as after releasing the clutch to start moving, or after a shift, before a gear position value is shown on the display. 0.3 seconds is the default and should work well. In this next area, we set the highest gear number. To change that value, simply click on the up or down arrows. In this example, we have a six speed transmission, so we will click the down arrow to return to six gears. Once we have the correct number of gears, we just need to input the gear ratios as fractions or numeric ratios. First gear is 5.087. Second gear is 2.991. Third gear is 2.035. Fourth gear is 1.594. Fifth gear is 1.286. And since sixth gear is 1.00, we won't change it. After entering all of this information, simply click on the Save button. As you can see here, we now have the pre-calculated gear channel defined. The next step is to save the configuration. In this case, it is the LearnFast MXS configuration. And now that we have modified and saved the configuration in Race Studio 3, we need to send the configuration to the connected AIM device, and we do that by clicking on the Transmit button. Once the configuration is transmitted, you will see this message. Click on the OK button. 
To check and make sure we have the Math Channel active, let's bring up the Live Measure screen by first clicking on the Devices button and then the Connected Device. And under the Live Measures tab, we can see that we now have a pre-calculated gear channel. Of course, since we have no RPM or speed, we do not have a gear value, but we will have that when we actually drive the vehicle. For more AIMSports Learn Fast e-training content, and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIMSports products when and where you want it.